So here we are at the Cave Hill Civil War Memorial. See the countless thousands upon thousands of memorials here dedicated to the people that gave their lives to fight for freedom in this country. And there are a few plaques here and there. I think we're actually going to have to turn around and go this way. You can see that they even have a plaque dedicated to unknown soldiers. So let's kind of explore a little bit. Obviously we can't see every single veteran that was buried or memorialized here. I'm not sure about the burials. I'm sure that there maybe were some, but... And you can see that they also do include veterans of other wars here as well. And even though it is listed as a Civil War memorial. So they are doing some work. So I want to be respectful of the uh, workers' privacy and stay away from that section. You can see over there where they're digging. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but it's quite a large area. It's kind of sad to think that this is the price that had to be paid just to end one of the most evil institutions ever created on the planet. I think that's what's unique about this place. It's so clear with the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of markers you know what the real price of war and slavery is
I don't see any signage pointing to what the purpose of this uh, little, I guess what once was a pavilion, um, clearly has no roof now. Kind of an interesting little structure though. Maybe they used to give like speeches or something here at like special events. I don't know, it kind of does look like a place where you would stand out. It also is an excellent spot to observe everything in its near entirety. Yeah, it looks like somebody has placed a little hummingbird feeder up on the tree. I don't think you could see it too well. We might take a closer look at the little natural area in the like, swampy sort of pond here in a second. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot to see there either, though. I am kind of trying to peer into the woods. I kind of doubt it at this place, but I'm always on the lookout for little hidden areas and things that have been lost over the course of history. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this really leads anywhere. See, the whole thing is just covered in a, it's called duckweed. And they're tiny, tiny little plants that just float on the surface of the water. As you can kind of see, I mean, there would be no place for people to stand, obviously, but... It, I mean, sort of, but it does kind of look like a place where somebody would, like, give a speech or something. I'm not really sure about the validity of that or whether it's ever happened, but... I may want to be careful. There is some sort of eagle or hawk over here. Oh, that's a squirrel. And, uh, I think it has a nest. And they can be not only pretty violent, but they have often razor-sharp talons. And even if it is a small bird, it can really mess you up. It almost looked like somebody had dug a tunnel underneath the wall. And the wall, actually, we might be able to get a glimpse over it here. But, absolutely beautiful layout. And again, really, is a powerful message. Oh, okay. Looks like it might be a business and part of the cemetery maintenance area. It's interesting that they also do allow, looks like, families to update or upgrade the markers or choose a different marker if they do not want the kind of standard military issued memorial and you can see a lot of these have no names inscribed on them only numbers and I'm sure that they probably do have some of them listed in a registry, but I don't know. Well, and you can see that they had to sacrifice that tree to save the 
memorial from damage and being knocked over. And there is the hawk I was talking about. All right, we're gonna actually head back this way real quick and head up the hill. There's another plaque up there with the flagpole. We'll go take a look at that here. And it seems like there might be another section as well. Yeah, you can see it looks like that section over here is possibly part of it. I can't really tell. They do look like very uniform memorials and yet another section filled with the Civil War and other veteran memorials and a copy of Lincoln's address And so if you were here and you wanted to find somebody, you could just open it up and there it is in there. And I think this is the edge of the memorial. I think everything to this side here is outside. And then, as you can plainly tell, it's a the war memorial is here, surrounded by the other sections.
Huh. Never seen something like this. Now this is a replacement, but you can see that it's all inscribed in German. At the top there at least, it looks... let's see. Trying to get closer here. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, the light's so bright it was difficult to interpret for a minute there. I've never seen something like this. Sort of, uh, not celebrating, but in memory, like it says, of the first victims at the Battle of, uh, Relit Station. So thank you all so much for watching this very special episode on 539 featuring the Civil War Memorial here in Louisville, Kentucky at the Cave Hill Cemetery. I appreciate you all watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this episode and watching the other episodes as well. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next adventure.